you are displaying another strong Zerg tactic and its burrowed banelings to counter large ground forces. Now the game is developed and both sides know pretty much what the composition of the other army is. The two Protoss players in the north know that the Zerg player is mostly ground and the Protoss player are mostly stalkers. The northern armies of Protoss are made mostly of stalkers, sentries, zealots, and phoenixes and void rays. And here's going to be the large confrontation, the battle, um, that's going to culminate in the ultimate win or loss of the game. Now, the Protoss player on the Zerg player's team has moved up and built pylons to reinforce during the battle. Now, the Protoss player expects to be losing his ground war and beats a hasty retreat over the entire mass of Burrow Banelings. As you can see, he lures perfectly, so that way the Protoss player has his entire group, who has been attack moving, balled up in one large ball. Zerg player sees this, boom, there goes all of his forces. As you can see in the top left, the dramatic drop in forces for the red player. Meanwhile, the teal Protoss player still has almost all of his stalkers, lost a few immortals, and is in a good position to fight the few void rays remaining. Uh, the Zerg player has some Zerglings he's going to run in and help help reinforce the Protoss player on his team with, and that's going to end up winning them the game here in just a few seconds after this replay.